Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss how to insert columns in Microsoft Dynamics 365 in Finance and Operations. Okay. So let's navigate to any of the form. Okay. Let's uh, just go to the all vendors form. Okay. If we just navigate to the all vendors form, what we'll just do it is if you want to insert any columns here, what we have to do. Okay, see just you'll be able to see one grid options here like the three dots. Okay, just click on the three dots where you can find the insert columns. Okay, just click on this insert columns. Okay, after clicking on that insert columns, you'll be able to uh, see this. Uh, I mean this page where you can add your columns, whatever the columns that you need to your uh, form okay so let's say we'll just add a two call i mean two columns here or three columns and click on update when you just click on update what will happen means you will be able to see a see a, a select save in the view menu to keep your changes the asterisk indicates when you have unchanged unsaved changes okay see here if there is a asterisk symbol here it is saying that there is some unsaved changes okay so let's just check see whatever the fields that i mean the columns that we have added you will be able to see here 1099 account type and activate change management fields that we have added to a like extra columns that we have added here so if you just click on save okay if you just click on or just control yes okay so if you just click on save at that time only the changes are going to happen else uh, the changes will be like you know uh, temporary you cannot like you know again if you open the form the changes are like temporary basis let's click on all vendors form and just go back here see there are no saved changes right because we have just added the columns and we have not saved it okay so this is just a view where you can see it you cannot uh, like you know save the uh, view here so that's the reason you are unable to see the save okay if you want to insert the columns and check the data you can just check this way that's it thank you so much bye